What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, the Terran, and we're back again with another Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash video. And today, we're going to be talking about the Shibuya Arc DLC. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise this is not clickbait. I promise you guys, I promise you guys, I promise. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video before we get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have been absolutely killing it in these videos recently, and I greatly appreciate you guys. We're one step closer to getting to 10K, and I appreciate you guys for it. Now, for the dude, let's get in the video, shall we? So ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I want to ask you guys genuine opinion about the DLC pack 1, the Premature Death Slash Shit inv Inventory DLC. I need to know you guys thoughts on it. Do you guys like it? Is it gas? Is it ass? Like, are y'all feeling it? Because me personally, I like it a lot. I think the only thing they could have done better was the story mode part, but it doesn't matter. Because of course, we all care about the gameplay and the online, which they made the characters pretty good. Gojo, Gato, and Toji goes absolutely crazy. Don't worry, I have a Mai and Momo video coming up soon, so keep your eyes out for that. So I just wanted to ask you guys your opinions on that first. And secondly, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, at the end of the DLC pack trailer, they confirmed that we were getting ourselves a Shibuya Arc DLC, and everyone has been curious on what this is going to include. Plus, they mentioned three free characters that are going to be coming with the DLC as well. Three free characters, by the way. So how we got Mai and Momo as free characters, we're going to get three more free characters on top of that. So what if I told you guys that they already teased a little bit of the future DLC without officially showing the DLC? Does that make sense? Hold it on. Hold on. It'll make sense in a second. So ladies and gentlemen, in one of the in the live stream that showcased Toji, Gato, and um, Gojo, they were showing off a little bit of everything. They were showing off some Toji gameplay, they were showing off some Gato gameplay, and they were showing off some Gojo gameplay. Now, the interesting part about this is when, during that live stream, they were showing alternate costumes as well, showing off what's going to become with the DLC pack, right? So for example, we were able to get ourselves Toji where he was wearing the long sleeve and the long, like the sweatpants and sweatshirt. We got to see the suits of Gojo and Gato, and then we we're able to see the beach fits of Gojo and Gato. Now, if your mind's just clicked, let me tell you guys why. The interesting th part about that is it showed us a little bit of their joint attack together of Gojo and Gato, but I feel like people did not keep in mind the map that they were on. If you guys saw the map that they were on, it showed them walking on a beach, and yes, it looked like a like an actual genuine map. We got to see the ground where it was the sand, and we got to see a little bit of the background, which was the trees and all that other jazz, right? Originally, I thought that was going to be part of the story mode as part of the DLC pack, thinking to myself like, oh, yep. We're getting fully animated models, this, that, and the third. But as you guys know, if you have the DLC, they did not animate the story mode at all. It's literally all slideshows. So they have the map in says streaming. You probably think to yourself, Aaron, what does that mean? So ladies and gentlemen, that could mean one of two things. Number one, I think this map is going to be coming with the Shibuya Arc DLC because like how I said, they are doing Shibuya. And one of the biggest fights in Shibuya was Toji going crazy on Dagon, right? Now... It also works out too because that beach map was also where Gojo and Gato took that girl to to relax before they ran into Toji, right? But I really do think that's going to be a map and it's supposed to be Dagon's domain expansion. Now it's going to be basically like a beach map, right? And so I feel like that low-key confirms that either Dagon's going to be a character or just confirms the map. But honestly, it wouldn't make sense for them not to have Dagon because think about it. If they have Momo and Mai as characters, why would they not have Dagon if Dagon played a significant part in said fight? You know what I'm saying? In said story overall. You feel me? Now, you're probably thinking to yourself like, Aaron, okay, this is probably Reach. Probably, maybe, but who knows? We're here to speculate. You know what I'm saying? So, off rip, in my head, I'm already going to put money on it that Dagon is going to be a character in Curse Clash because of the fact of the map and how important Bro was as a character. I do see him being more as a free character in the future in regards to the DLC, but I do see him being there overall. If he was going to be in the DLC pack 2, that would also be pretty amazing. Now, because Toji and Gato also came out as DLC characters, it does open up the possibility of us having different versions of the same character. For example, how they made teen Gojo vastly different from adult Gojo, and same thing with Gato, right? I feel like when it comes to the Shibuya DLC, we're going to have different versions of the same character. For example, we're obviously going to get ourselves a different version of Mahito, right? Of course, it would make sense for us to get a true form Mahito, but even if they didn't give us a true form Mahito, a Shibuya Mahito would go crazy. Because the way he was fighting in Shibuya, 
Omega. Bro was making clones of himself. Bro was using big hands to fight. Bro was really taking advantage of his, basically his manipulation curse technique, and it went crazy. And the fact that he summoned that train against Itadori, yeah, bro. Like, I see them making another version of Mahito. Number two, I also see them making a different version of Megumi. The way Megumi was fighting in Shibuya was completely different from how he fought before, especially when he incorporated the rabbits and obviously the general Mahuraga. You know what I'm saying? So I also see another version of Megumi coming into the game, and I think that's going to be pretty clean. Now, when it comes to characters like Sukuna and Tojo, uh, Toto, I don't see other vari uh, variations of them because they added in the Fuga for uh, Sukuna, which he did in Shibuya, and they already gave Toji his Black Flash, so I don't see them making another version of him. Now, potentially... Actually, no, I wasn't going to say maybe they were going to make another version of Jogo, but a lot of the moves Jogo did in Shibuya was already added into the base game version of himself. Now, the other characters that I obviously see them adding into the game would probably be like Mechamaru, Chozo, you see what I'm saying? Maybe a Shibuya arc version of Ghetto, who knows? I obviously see a Meimei coming into the future. Meimei will be a great DLC, and obviously a Miwa. The doors are open, ladies and gentlemen, and these are my best guess to miss. Especially since we have the, uh, the city in ruin as our lobby when we play online, I feel like they are going to try to do as much as they can with the Shibuya. Like what we have currently at the time of this recording with the anime, I think that is going to be what they're going to add in the next DLC because that's the only thing that makes sense. We already have two maps that cover the later half of Shibuya, so it just makes sense that it's just going to go absolutely crazy with the DLC and that we're going to get these crazy characters. Well, manifested Dagon. I'm really hoping for Dagon to come to the game. I think he'll go crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know your guys' thoughts on the video overall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for real. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What are you guys' thoughts on the potential Shibuya Arc DLC? Do you guys think it's going to happen? And do you guys think it's going to be gas? Let's talk about it, shall we? Until next time, peace out.